What's going on fishing buddies? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Blaine Roberts, Perdido Blaine. I do saltwater fishing, surf fishing, kayak fishing, overnight kayak excursions, offshore stuff, all here in the Panhandle. I'm uploading videos to YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook multiple times a week, documenting my adventures. I also run kayak fishing guides and surf fishing guides in the Perdido Key, Pensacola, Orange Beach area. I wanted to put out a video about Christmas gift ideas fairly early just because of the back order of some of these items, it can take longer to get. I've made it super simple for you or any loved one. Anything that I'm talking about today will be linked in the description of this video and most of them will have promo codes with them so you can get a discount. I find when I make things easy for people, <laughs> it usually goes, it goes a little bit smoother. So if I'm asking for a gift, I will send a link so the person can basically just click on there and order. So I've designed this video just like that to make it easy so we can get the stuff we want. Let's get it out there. Let's talk about some stocking stuffers first, some fairly inexpensive items that we all need, that we all use, and we go through a lot of it. Fish bites being a great example. This is my go-to surf fishing bait. I catch probably 90% of my fish on fish bites multiple different color and scent options. You have pink shrimp, you have sand flea, you have green shrimp, we have an easy crab and the electric chicken, and we have a crab and just the orange. And the list goes on and on and on. This is just what I rounded up from the refrigerator. Fairly inexpensive, like four or five packs would be like less than 30 bucks. Nice little bundle to stick down there in the stocking, and any fisherman would love to have this. Frisky fins, Pompano rigs, guys. Again, fairly inexpensive. You can get a whole bundle of these guys, put a rubber band around them, stuff them down in a stocking. And any surf fisherman waking up Christmas morning would love to see this. Again, multiple different colors and styles. This is the Perdido Blaine edition. It has the three beads on the bottom drop, the float on top, different colors. Obviously, this is the yellow. You have the pink lemonade. This is the rattle rig that Frisky makes. Two floats and they have a built-in rattle to attract the fish with sound. Another purple here, PB rig. And then you have the OG, the original Frisky, and the orange. Again, a lot of different styles and colors to choose from from Frisky. He also has multiple different things on his website. Frisky fins, pompano rigs, any fisherman would love to have. Moving into weights, the Sinker Guy Spudniks. These are things that you don't need them till you need them. <laughs> and if you don't have them, it could send you home that day. I keep three main sizes with me at all times. The four ounce, the three ounce, and the two ounce. I'm throwing that three ounce 90% of the time. And I've gotten to basically where this is all I use. A lot of times I don't need the Spudniks, but just the way it holds my rod down, I love the bend that it holds. Sometimes when using the pyramid weights and stuff, it will come unlodged and you have to tighten it back down, unlodge, tighten it back down. With the Seeker Guy Spudniks, it's gonna stay bent, so you know that bait is where you want it, and it will be really obvious if a fish is on there. The Seeker Guy does also sell these nifty little rings. I use them to hold my Spudniks, and then I just attach this ring to the cutting board of my beach cart. Keeps them nice and neat, out of the way, they're not poking into anything. Perfect little setup here from the Seeker Guy. Sinker Guy coming in again with the Sinker Guy Method beads. These are perfect little stocking stuffers. They'll slide right down in that sock. And these are just different colored beads that you'll slide on your hook and then place your bait and it just attracts fish. Um, the light can come through and shine on these beads to kind of give a reflection. You can match the hatch with them. So basically when you're raking up coquina clams and stuff like that, you can see what colors in the surf find a bead that kind of matches it and throw it out there. All these are on his website also, thesinkerguy.com. It will be linked in the description of this video. Great idea, fairly cheap, and they're effective. Moving away from the stocking into those beautifully wrapped gifts underneath the Christmas tree, let's check out sword products. The seven inch filet, this is my go-to. This is what I'm using most of the time to clean up my fish. Nice sheath, beautiful knives. The grips on them are great. Nice little clip for your belt. Gotta have a good knife if you're bringing home fish, guys. I tried to use cheap knives for a long time. Just didn't work well. I was eating fish nuggets all the time. Sword has great products, guys. A lot of fishermen in the area back this company. 
and they're just a good bunch of dudes. <laughs> they always come to all the tournaments around the area. You see them everywhere and are coming out with new products constantly. So that was a seven inch filet. I also used the serrated. This guy helps me with the redfish, the black drum, the sheep's head. When that first initial cut is pretty tough, this guy gets it done, the serrated from sword. The five inch bait knife goes with me on every trip. Great little bait knife guys, super sharp, great grip again, using this on the kayak and surf fishing. And then you got the king of the hill of the sword product. <laughs> They're pliers. These guys are pricey, but they're a great set of pliers with a lifetime warranty. I've been using these for about eight months now, and I mean, there is just absolutely nothing wrong with them, guys. I mean, I use these daily, both surf and kayak. Uh, the cutters are still working. If the cutters do start failing, Sword will replace them. Beautiful sheath. I just keep these on my belt at all times, and I keep this attached to my belt loop. Absolutely no complaints with these. Again, these are a pricier item. So if you've been good, maybe you'll get them. One of my number one items I never leave the house without when I'm fishing is a good pair of polarized sunglasses. I use ocean wave sunglasses and the frame I like for my face is the Hanna style. Again, multiple different frame styles, multiple different lens color options. So these are the Hannas. Then you have the Jack's Beach style that kind of does the wrap. This is the offshore blue. You have the illuminators, which I use for the kayak. You have your amber color lens. So these are my knocking around lens, like driving, walking around in the yard and stuff like that. I usually use these ambers. And then for the surf, I use the backwater greens. Gotta have a good pair of polarized guys to be able to see that structure in the surf. Braided fishing line. We go through a lot of this. It tends to get expensive and every fisherman would love to see this under the tree. True Braid is what I use. I was using Power Pro Super Slick for a long time. Had absolutely no issues with it. Loved it, didn't love the price point. True Braid is a fairly newer company. I think they've been around for about a year. I gave them a shot about, I'd say four or five months ago. Um, and when I say gave them a shot, like I re-spooled everything because I knew if I just re-spooled one reel, I'd constantly be comparing it to the Power Pro and the feel and all that. So I just went all in. I re-spooled all my reels with True Braid and I haven't regretted one second of it. It holds up great. I've never had any issues with it breaking off or even the color fading. There's a noticeable difference between the price point in True Braid and the Power Pro. For the kind of fishing I'm doing, I'm using 20 pound, 10 pound, and 30 pound. Multiple different colors again. We've got the yellow here. There's some green, there's some blue. I love the black, <laughs> it looks really good. Great product, and with all these products, guys, I wouldn't try to sell you guys this if I wasn't using it and believed in it myself, and I'm a believer in the True Braid. A trend that I've seen pop up lately, it's been all over the beaches, I mean from Jacksonville all the way down to the Panhandle, is the flags. Absolutely love my flag, I fly it every time I'm out there on the surf. So if you have a company or you have a brand or you just have anything you would like to put on a flag to fly while you're fishing, Mighty Tirado Art can take care of you. She's done flags for myself, for fish bites, the sinker guy, uh, deer field fabrication and welding. And the list goes on and on and on. A lot of happy customers with her work. You would basically just contact her, send her a file of the logo or the image, whatever you wanted on the flag, pick your size, you can do just one-sided or you can do double-sided. I like to do one-sided because I find that it flows better in the wind. This is also great advertising, guys. I get a lot of business just fishing on the beach and flying my flag. People come up and start talking to me. Next thing you know, I've booked a charter. Mighty Toronto Art, get your beach flags. One of my favorite new companies that's hit the scene in the past year, Deerfield Fabrication and Welding. These guys are putting out great products, guys. Beach cards, beach card upgrades, sand spikes, the flagpole that I fly my flag on. It's a 12 foot flagpole. Uh, it breaks down in half, so it's easy to transport. They do that. Get beach tires. Basically anything you can dream up, they can probably make it. I've recently switched over to their sand spikes because they're just a great product. I've been using the tubular spike. Goes in the sand, super easy, guys. It's got the full circle here. I'll use these when I'm targeting bigger fish. 
I want to make sure that my rod does not pop back out. If one of those big fish hits it, it doesn't hook right or it doesn't commit, it can slingshot your rod back out and now you got a reel in the sand. A few different colors with these guys. Awesome. I would love to have these under the tree. These guys just keep getting bigger and bigger and coming out with more products every time I look at their social media. And then for the Pompano fishing, I am using the open face. I love these. Instead of lifting up and then out with that tubular, this is just a quick, you pull it up about an inch or two and you got the rod in your hand. It's also got the foot pegs that makes it real easy to get in the sand. I love these. These are four footers. You can get these from Deerfield also. This is the flagpole from Deerfield. As you see, it comes in two pieces here. <laughs> real easy to connect. Slides right up in here. Boom. Now you got a 12 foot flagpole. I'm flying two flags at a time. Both those flags came from Monte Serrato Art. You break it right back down and I just roll it up when I'm done. Puts the flags nice and neat and it's ready for transport. And with that flagpole, you can get this little mount that attaches right to your beach cart. So this is what I'll use to slide the flagpole down in there and it anchors into the sand. So those windy days, your beach cart ain't rolling down the beach. Let's get into the main event, the Ninja Daggers. Multiple different size options with Ninja Tackle. Matt Poole, the owner of that, has got a nine foot, an 11 foot, a 12 foot, and an eight foot six, and a seven foot all in the daggers. And also a 10 foot bummy stick. I've chosen my favorite three to go over today. The eight foot six is one of the newer products from Ninja. Love this little rod. I use this for walking the beach, casting spoons and things like that for Spanish, bluefish, anything that I see popping out there. This is also a great little whiting rod just because of the light action on it. You know, the smaller whiting, the 14, 15 inch whiting, it'll feel like a big fish with this. This holds up to a one and a half ounce lure weight. So like a one ounce piece of metal, it'll sling out there guys. You can burn it back and have a great time on the beach casting for fish. Love this little rod. I keep a 4,000 series on it, 20 pound true braid. The 11 foot dagger, I think personally, Matt Poole absolutely nailed it with this rod. This is probably my favorite rod out of all my rods I have. This is strictly a pompano rod for me. This is what I'm using to target pomps, but I have pulled in huge black drum on this also. This will hold up to a seven ounce lower weight. So I find a three to four ounce weight is the perfect weight to get the load on this rod to really get it out there. I keep a 4,000 series reel on this, 20 pound true braid. Highly, highly recommend this 11 foot dagger. If you're getting into pompano fishing or wanna upgrade some equipment, the 11 foot dagger will not let you down. The 10 foot bummy stick. Love this rod. This is a beefier rod. I do use this for set rig fishing, but what this is actually designed for is throwing like big spoons out there, big poppers for big fish. Matt Isbell, the Bama Beach Bum, and Matt Poole, Ninja Tackle, teamed up and came up with this rod. Beach Bum was doing a lot of surf casting. He was getting into chasing those jacks, the big reds from the surf, casting out big spoons. And that's where the idea of this rod came in. They absolutely nailed it, guys. I love this. I actually own two of them. And also, this is a great kind of all-arounder. Again, I use it for set rig fishing, and then I can also cast like two, three-ounce lures out there for big jacks if they start busting. Great rod, serves multiple purposes. Last item I have on the list I hear today, guys, is the rig bag from Florida Surf Tackle. Beautiful little item. Florida Surf Tackle out of Jacksonville have come up this great way to keep all your rigs nice and neat, tidy in these sleeves here. I've been using one for well over a year now, guys, and I mean, there is absolutely nothing wrong with it. There's no rust in the zippers. The zippers still work great. We're dealing with a lot of salt water out there. Any items with zippers, I start getting nervous. But this is held up great. I keep it packed. I've never replaced any of these sleeves or anything. It has worked great. And I have a second one just in case this one like wasn't gonna last, <laughs> but I haven't had the need for it yet. Great item any surf fisherman would love to have. Again, Florida Surf Tackle. That's it guys, hope it was helpful. Again, I've made it really easy to look and purchase these items. All the websites will be linked in the description of this video. 
Also, a lot of them come with promo codes. So when you're looking at the description of this video, you'll see promo codes first and then the website second. Jump on there, get some gifts for your loved ones. Share this video with your wife, guys. Get it out there. Let them really see what you want. Again, some of these items might take a little longer to get, so that's why I'm putting this video out now. Take a look at the websites, guys. Take a look at the promo codes. Make sure you get what you want this year. Till next time, fishing buddies.